My name is Michael Reinhorn. I am a hernia specialist and specialist in abdominal core health at Boston Hernia. And today I want to talk to you about a recent study out of Sweden talking about the risks and implications for women undergoing inguinal hernia surgery. So first of all, what did the study find? Um, Sweden has had a national hernia registry for over 25 years. They found that about one in 10 patients with inguinal hernia is a woman, and that women were 30% more likely to develop chronic pain after inguinal hernia repair uh, than men. So what does that mean? So first of all, what's a hernia? A hernia is a hole typically in the abdominal wall. Uh, for an inguinal hernia in men, that's a natural hole that the blood vessels go to the testicles. In women, there's a natural hole for the round ligament. Uh, because that hole is smaller in women, women are much less likely to develop a hernia. In fact, only one in 10 patients we see in our practice and across the country um, is a woman and about one in 30 women will develop an inguinal hernia in their lifetime. Um, there are other holes uh, other than where the round ligament, one a little bit closer uh, to the middle, um, and one below, the one below is called the femoral hernia rather than an inguinal hernia. Um, how are the hernias fixed? So you can fix a hernia um, either with, without mesh, just suturing the hole closed if the hole is small, um, and if the abdominal wall is small. You can also fix the hernia with a piece of polypropylene or polyester mesh, um, either on top of the hole or behind the hole. And that really depends on the expertise of your surgeon um, and your particular hernia. Um, now, why do women get chronic pain? Why, in fact, anyone gets chronic pain? Um, we think that there's a couple of reasons. Uh, and we know there are a couple of reasons. In fact, um, one is related to the technique uh, that's used. Uh, when going in the front, whether suturing or putting a, placing a piece of mesh on top of the muscles, um, there are three nerves that a surgeon needs to watch out for. Um, and when putting mesh behind the abdominal wall, uh, there are also a couple of nerves that you need to watch out for. And so oftentimes either a technical error or uh, just bad luck leads to trapping one of those nerves with the surgery. Um, so that's one reason. The other reason is that um, the body reacts to the mesh uh, that's placed by creating scar. Um, that's by natural design. It's the way the hernia is fixed. But sometimes that scar can involve a nerve and cause irritation. Much, much less likely is there actual reaction to the mesh uh, that's placed in. Um, and that's almost always temporary. Now, how common is this problem? Um, this problem occurs uh, roughly in 5 to 15% of patients for the first year. And about 3% of patients have chronic pain uh, for the rest of their lives unless they're treated surgically. So um, is this common in the U.S.? Well, 800,000 patients have a hernia in the United States. Uh, if one in 10 are women, that's roughly 80,000 women. If 3% of women develop chronic debilitating pain, and we know more than average do, um, you're talking about 2,500 to 3,000 women who may be uh, hurt by inguinal hernia surgery. So this is a serious problem. It's a public health issue um, and there are ways to avoid it. Um, so how can uh, a surgeon avoid chronic pain? One is to really tailor the approach to the individual patient and that really uh, is important in terms of the size of the hernia, the type of the hernia, and the size of the abdominal wall as to what makes the most sense other factors like past medical history, allergies, family history are all important factors to consider uh, when choosing the best repair type. The next thing to do is to find a surgeon that has interest and expertise in inguinal hernia repair. 
um, in the United States and in fact all of North America, the America's Hernia Society has created a web page where surgeons can be uh, identified uh, as having interest and expertise in hernia surgery all across the, the United States and somewhere close to your home. Um, finally, um, about seven years ago, the America's Hernia Society created a national hernia registry that's called the Abdominal Core Health Quality Collaborative and institutions that are voluntarily reporting their outcomes are listed on that as well. And that could be a really good resource uh, to identify surgeons across the country. Um, if you're living in New England, we are more than happy to see you here. Uh, all of the surgeons at Boston Hernia are experts in abdominal core health and inguinal hernia repair, both in men and in women. Um, and so um, give us a call if you're in the area. Um, I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, there are more videos across our um, channel here that are all meant to educate our patients and potential patients about benefits of hernia surgery. So look around, like us, follow us, um, and best of luck to you as you navigate uh, your journey with a hernia.